Hey, what's going on, buddy? It's me, Jazz. So I got another Unfreaking Halo 5 Warzone. This time I was on Battle of Noctis once again, and I ended up getting it using the Ghost Ultra. Now, this isn't the first time I got an Unfreaking the Ghost Ultra. I think maybe I got it once before. Um, but I just really love the Ghost Ultra. It's a fun vehicle to hop into. And uh, I don't know. It's just I think I really like it because it's because of the way it fires and it's got those explosive rounds on it. Uh, it just feels really nice when you uh, when you hit the enemy with it. I just really like it, and I think it's a durable ghost as well. So that that definitely helps. But I ended up getting the unfrig just using this Ghost Ultra, and I got the Ghost Ultra uh, because the enemy team spawned one, and the guy ended up dying in the ghost, and I uh, saw it laying there, so I happened to just. Sit in it, and grab it, and sit in it, and just uh, get the unfrig with it. So uh, that was awesome. We, our team was doing really good. We, uh, we triple capped them pretty dang early on in the game. You guys can see here. We're only like 100 points in, and we already triple capped them. But I got a, uh, a really good multi kill with the Ghost Ultra. I think I had a kill catastrophe. I think it was eight, eight uh, uh, kills in a few seconds. So that was awesome. I was trying to go for the killing there, but unfortunately, just couldn't quite find the other guys, and uh, just didn't get them in time. Um, but uh, still, a really, really great multi kill. And then I think I got an overkill after that too, so it was it was awesome. I was just doing some work with this ghost because we triple capped him. Um, we were just sitting, I was just sitting at the front of their door with this vehicle uh, by their core and just picking them off as they were trying to go outside. So they really couldn't do a whole lot. I kind of felt bad to be honest because they just couldn't do anything. But I'm surprised nobody pulled out like a railgun or a laser to try to take me down. And maybe they didn't because uh, it was so early on in the game and their rec levels just weren't high enough. I mean, I think some guys were still running around with a pistol on the other team. So you can't really do much against a ghost or anything like that when you just have a pistol. So I think that's maybe why uh, they didn't try to kill me or, I don't know, just evading it and never found a guy with it. I don't know, but it was just a great game. And I'm honestly surprised that I didn't get killed because I was sitting at their base quite a long time. And uh, just just killing them left and right, um, so that was a lot of fun for me. But uh, um, I, th I think this unfrig took me like seven minutes in total because when the game was two minutes in, that's when I hopped in the ghost, and then at nine at the nine minute mark is when I finally got the unfrig. So it took me about seven minutes to get this unfrig, which is pretty dang fast. Usually it takes about fifteen minutes or so. Uh, so I, it was just a just a great game. Everything was going right in this ghost. And I managed to get the unfrig with it. Um, at, like at 500 points, we well, when we had 500 points, I should say, I ended up killing myself because that's when I got the unfrig ready. And I spawned a Phaeton Helios. And I was trying to go for the double unfrig in this game. But unfortunately, we ended up destroying the core too fast. And I just really didn't do a whole lot with the with the Phaeton Helios. But I thought because we had so much time left, at, we were just at 500 points, that I might be able to, uh, to get the, another unfrig, especially if they were gonna try to you know cap a garage or something like that then I could I could pull it off but our team was just too good and uh, we just ended up destroying their core eventually so I really didn't do a whole lot with the Phaeton Helios which you guys will see later on in this video um, but the enemy team did end up spawning or capping a garage uh, one time and that's when I finally got my, un un my unfrig I believe was at a garage instead of at their core but the majority of my spree was definitely in the front of their base uh, by their core um, so uh, it was a pretty awesome game. Definitely, definitely a great game. I wish I could have got the double and frick because I've tried that a few times. I think maybe two or three times, but I failed because I either died or we destroyed their enemy, the enemy core too fast. But that's how it goes. Uh, I'm happy with the game that it was. And uh, shout out to everybody who joined me in this one. I forget everybody who was in there, but we had a few guys. And uh, just, a, just a really, really good game. So I hope you guys do enjoy the rest of this video. Thank you so much for watching it. If you do enjoy it, please give a thumbs up. That'd be great. If you're new, subscribe. That'd be better. And I'll see you guys next video. See ya. Enemy core defenses back online. Teammates eliminated the Banshee Raider.
Incoming Prometheans at the East Mall. Soldier operative has slip spaced in. South Garage captured. We control all bases. The enemy core is vulnerable. Teammates eliminated a soldier operative. Enemy core at 75%. Enemy captured the monument. Enemy core defenses back online. Teammates eliminated a soldier operative. We're halfway to victory. Incoming Prometheans. High ranking Promethean threats on the ground. Spartan, that's a victory.